Tigers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reading a story called Ninja Red Riding Hood. It is by Corey Rosam Schwartz and illustrated by Dan Santat. And I'm reading this with permission from Scholastic. Now this is called Ninja Red Riding Hood, which is very similar to uh, Little Red Riding Hood. So this is a version of that text, just like we've done before. I want you guys to be thinking about how this text is similar or different to the versions that you guys already know, the classic versions of Little Red Riding Hood. Ninja Red Riding Hood. Once upon a ninja-filled time, a wolf couldn't catch any prey. He kept getting licked by the dinner he picked and was growing more ticked by the day. His belly was aching for bacon. I'm wasting away, he complained to Huff, and to Puff was no longer enough. So he snuck into school to be trained. He practiced his katas for hours and mastered the whirlwind and wheel. He jackknifed and flipped, and at last he felt equipped to once again catch a good meal. Now in the classic version of Little Red Riding Hood, I don't remember any of this happening, so this is all different. Drooling with anticipation, he set off in search of some meat, while deep in the wood he met Riding Hood. I'm bringing my grandma a treat. The wolf licked his chops when he saw her and hastily thought up a plan. There are blossoms that way. You can pick a bouquet to give to your little old gran. So now in the classic version, the wolf meets Little Red Riding Hood in the forest, just like this. Then the wolf took a shortcut to grandma's where he thought that he'd find her in her bed. But Granny was gone, so she so he puts her robe on and eagerly waited for Red. I'm thinking back to the classic, the traditional version. Now, I'm pretty sure that wolf ate that grandma in that, in that version, so this version's a little nicer. Soon after, he heard someone knocking. He called out, my dear, come in. Oh, don't you look good in your little lovely red hood, but a shame that you've gotten so thin. Little Red took a look at her granny and said, What on earth did you do? I could swear that your eyes have completely changed size. Hey, Gran, are you sure that's you? Of course it is me, my sweet darling. The better to see you, my dear. Ooh, that sounds very familiar to me. That sounds a lot like the classic version. And your ears are so long. Something really seems wrong. Oh my girl, all the better to hear. This whole section seems pretty familiar to me. And those biceps, the muscles in your arm. My gosh, they look massive and your triceps and delts are immense. The better for hugging, her grandma said shrugging. Dear Red, that's just plain common sense. And those teeth, they look so much sharper. Why yes. All the better to chew. Hmm. He jumped out of bed to gobble up red, but... Uh-oh, this happened in the classic version too, oh no. She'd gone to ninja school too. Oop, taking a turn. This is different than our traditional text, isn't it? She grappled and sideswiped and twisted and escaped from his clutches unscathed. She attempted a lock, but he managed to block. They appeared to be evenly matched. Hmm. Don't recall any ninja moves in the traditional version. That's a lot different. Just then they both heard someone chopping. A woodsman? Red thought. So I know in, in the traditional regular version that we all know, the woodsman is who saves her. So I wonder if this is the same or if this is going to be different. 
a woodsman, red dot, but instead it was Gran in her G. She just come from Tai Chi. Don't you dare harm a hair on her head. Whoa, this is so different. Funny. The wolf took a swing at that instant, but Red deftly dodged the attack. She got a good grip, threw him over her hip, and the wolf wound up flat on his back. Oh, that woodsman's not saving the day this time. I guess it's the grand that's going to save the day. I'll skedaddle, the wolf said in anguish as he struggled back up on his feet. Just a second, you beast. You will not be released till you promise to give up red meat. Though his tummy still rumbled with hunger, the wolf faced his rival and vowed, Ninja Red, you have won. My meat days are gone. Oh, Red Chan, said Gran, I am so proud. Then Gran and the wolf bowed politely and Gran gave him half of her peach pie. The wolf was a mess. He had had way too much stress. I guess I'll give yoga a try. He enrolled at the Downward Dog Center where his tension began to decrease. He studied with yogis, said no to meat hoagies, and felt at last truly at peace. Again. In this text, I want you to think about how this was similar or different from the classic version that we all know. Okay, thank you. I'll see you guys next time.